This is an urgent message to all engineers. Stop everything because bad news and good news. Okay, how many of you have ever heard uh, engineers are not very good at communicating and thought to yourself, well, I think I'm pretty precise at communicating and I'm pretty accurate. Um, that's not actually what they mean. They are speaking a completely different language with the exact same words, and I am just realizing this. The other humans have another language. Okay, look at it this way. That, uh, th this person walks into a room of engineers and shows a picture to the one, and then exits the room and gives them three minutes uh, to communicate, and then hands everybody a piece of paper and then uh, they're supposed to draw it. If these were normal people, if they were engineers, then approximately one engineer could probably draw that picture if you only gave them three minutes. Um, for other people, it, it's like they have a superpower of communication. It's like, um, I think they could do it in 10 seconds. They're, like, this is another level, guys. I probably should not be allowed on YouTube. The moral of the story is, it doesn't matter how accurately and precisely this engineer communicates with this one. If you put them all in a group, stuff just happens magically. And, and, and what we're used to, uh, all of our training is about getting the the initial build perfect, get things accurate. And, um, and I'm probably using the same words that people that understand this use to talk to engineers, to try to help them with communication. And, 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 it, and it just goes over our heads, but it doesn't go over our heads because we're stupid. It goes over our heads because we have an outlook. We have a perspective and <laughs> I've done, more communicating in the last in the last month than my entire life combined because my videos have millions of hours of views and i'm realizing that people aren't uh all, all those hours are not um hours to be to be learning these are hours because the humans are entertained at the stuff we talk about when an engineer like myself is very authentic and direct. And the other humans are not used to engineers um, uh, uh, being willing to talk about things publicly outside of their expertise area because we're expecting that, that we're this good at things. That's we set the bar up here for ourselves to be good at something before we ever try it or would dare to show, show it with someone else or talk about it. And that prohibits us from learning the next thing. And if the engineers had this superpower, yes, everything in the world would be free tomorrow. But if the engineers are too afraid to step outside of their box, then everything will not be free for quite a few more years. In every type of engineering discipline, we are used to doing something very properly and have it last a long time because what is the output of an engineer in the economy? It's a design, it's fixed and it's forever in time. It doesn't change. If, if it does change, then we haven't placed the design in the proper media. And that means uh, that's not real life. In real life, you can do things over and over and over again and just keep trying. And it didn't matter if you were doing it properly, if you did it fast. For every other task in life, except for designing things and documenting. It's as if the world is a giant simulation and all the humans are here and whoever's in charge is saying, all right, I'll assign different powers to the different uh, ones and, and, and hope that they can figure out a way to come together and make things beautiful. And um, 
Okay, so we're gonna have the smart ones and the fast ones and the strong ones and the ones who are planners and the ones who are leaders and they will actually have way better skills, each of them. And, and no one will know who has what skill because uh, there will always be a little bit of fear that, that creates a barrier, ongoing, ongoing like levels to level up on. And, uh, and if you switch and get uh, figure out that there's another superpower, all you have to do is cooperate with that person. And then that person, uh, both of you can have both superpowers and it only takes a few good people to like collaborate and pfft, wild things can happen. And it's like, I'm, I'm sitting, the reason I started this project, a lot of the stuff that I do, is because I see all the ingredients are already here on our planet, all of them, like tenfold what we need. And, um, and it's like, there's no reason we can't do this.